Hey guys, it's Jin Gang Crowd here, back with the special weapons, all weapons pack a punch. Let's start off with the crossbow. When pack a punch, it becomes the awful line. He gets 12 backup, still one in the chamber, uh, no extended mag. What it does become, it becomes kind of like a monkey bomb, as in where all the zombies are attracted to the bolt, except for some. See, as you can see right there, not always are they attracted to the bolt. And it takes a little bit to get in. Now, don't do what I did here. This is my mistake. I spammed the ground because I didn't know. That if um, detonation time when you hit an inanimate object is three to five seconds. Now when you hit a zombie, it will actually make the detonation time longer. So try to aim for zombies. This could really save you when you're playing with multiple people. Next is the ballistic knife. When uh, pack a punch becomes a cross refrigerator, it gets nine backup, uh, only one in a chamber. Again, it's not too useful for um, shooting, although it does become stronger when pack a punch. So you, um, I would recommend you buy the Bowie knife, but one thing that it's great at is if a teammate goes down, simply aim at him, shoot him, or knife him, and he will be instantly revived. And, nice little achievement there for you. Next is a Porter's X2 ray gun. I know this one by heart because it gets 40 in a clip, 200 backup. It gets extended uh, mags, it gets more power, and it becomes fully auto. Have you ever tried uh, just holding a trigger? It becomes fully auto. And um, it's great for dogs, it's great for zombies. Aim for the midsection because if you hit him in the legs in later rounds, all that will happen is the legs uh, fall off. And you can't hurt yourself with it. Don't try to shoot too close to yourself because there is a small uh, splash radius that can hurt you. Next is a thunder gun. When pack a punched, it becomes uh, the Seuss cannon. It gets 24 backup and 4 in a clip. Uh, basically an extended mag and more power, but the power on this thing is great as it was before, now it's even better. You can just part seas of zombies with this thing, you can go on for a long time. Try to use it more skillfully though, here I'm kind of spamming it. What you could do is throw a monkey bomb and then wait for them to crowd around or then hit them with the sucker punch. That's great for a lot of zombies. Or wait till they all bunch up next to you, run for a little bit and then it'd be great. The next gun is a Winter's Howl, uh, Winter's Fury, it becomes a, um, you can only find it on 5. This gun is great because it's got a big radius and when you hit them, they'll either be slowed down or completely frozen. It's got a lot of backup ammo with 36 backup, 9 in a clip. And uh, it's great. When zombies are completely frozen, they'll be one hit to anything. And because I forgot a long time ago, it's the G11. Now when pack a punch, it becomes a G115 generator with 288 backup, 48 in a clip. And what's special about this gun, it's got the spread of an SMG. So uh, when it becomes fully auto when pack a punch, you can hip fire it and it will be very accurate compared to other assault rifles. It's good and all, but I think it runs out of ammo a little bit too fast for me. You can be skillful with it by um, bursting it, but when you burst it, it kind of you know renders the fully auto useless. Anyways, that was it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.